I'm only good at opening two things. My mind when it comes to responsible political discourse in relation to the Internet Communications Decency Act. And incredible boxes from Sweetwater. So Sweetwater sent me a new guitar today. And I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So as I'm doing this very difficult task of unboxing something while speaking to a camera, there's a reason for this, for me actually getting this. I have been hired to score a documentary. And there's a couple different things, a couple different genres of music that they want to do. Uh, and one of them is bluegrass music, bluegrass slash country music, which I don't really know a whole lot about other than the uh, Instagram YouTube short reel that I posted on learning every bluegrass trick ever in one minute. I'm gonna be doing a follow-up to that pretty quickly, but uh, that's somewhat of a spoiler as far as what is in this box. Oh my gosh. These boxes are so big. All right, so as one can imagine, there's another box in this box. Hope you're enjoying the ladies from the 80s backtrack music right here. The real ones know what that's about. Uh, this is upside down, but this is from Gibson. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Can anybody guess what this is? You probably won't be able to guess what this is because some people won't be like, well, this isn't traditional bluegrass, blah, blah, blah. Nothing I do is traditional, right? So this is what we're dealing with here. But man, can we just take a second to acknowledge how amazing Sweetwater is <laughs> for sending me all this stuff? Uh, click the link below if you just want a spoiler alert because it's the top link. There's like an affiliate going on there. But yeah, Sweetwater has been by far my number one reason for living through pandemic because they have hooked me up with basically anything that I've, I've wanted. So even if you don't end up looking at this on Sweetwater, just get yourself a pack of strings or something because any of those affiliate li link clicks help me out and help me out with my brand new career as a documentary composer. Oh my gosh. It sounds so official, doesn't it? A composer? You got, you got, you got musicians on one side and then you got composers on the other. So this is pretty sweet. Look at this case. The Gibson case. Oh my gosh. Some of you in the no look at look at the black lashes on this. This thing is all just blacked out. Some of you, uh, oh, listen to that. These are the nicest lashes I've ever seen on a hard shell case ever. So uh, again, opening up to the audience first. Oh my gosh, got the official certificate. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell is just amazing. Yes, this is an L double O Studio Rosewood. Guys, guys, you're gonna hear this in just a second. Let's see what else is in the case. We got the Gibson owner's manual. Shout out, shout out to Gibson. This is pretty cool. Inspected by number 12. We'll check out number 12's handiwork in just a second here. I got this little little pouch with the keys in it, case keys, the Daddario Humidipack. Pack. So I also got the Gibson Generation G45 not too long ago, and I just want to shout them out because they give you this little pick pouch, which I think is like a super nice touch. So thank you for that. A uh, little tool here, and then looks like a end pin strap button. That's just, that's just the case. Here we go, guys. Look at, look at this. Oh. L double O. So this is a little bit of a smaller guitar. Some would say parlor. I don't, I don't know if I would quite call it a parlor size, but man, I'm so excited for this. So the reason I really wanted one of these is because they're kind of like iconic in certain genres. I wouldn't say that like bluegrass is like their main genre, but I wanted something where I could kind of use the G45 for some of the other tracks, which is a bigger body, like Dreadnought style guitar. And then use this for something to kind of sit uh, a little, a little have its own sonic space in a mix without getting too boomy. And uh, again, I really, I really have been impressed with some of those Gibson acoustic guitars, so. 
loving it. Tune this up real quick. Man, I am loving this guitar so far. I just, oh. So, I mean, come on, you guys, look how, look how classy this is. Super cute, beautiful size. It has electronics too, uh, which I will definitely be plugging in and checking that out uh, in a little bit, but the size of this, the, the, the weight is just amazing. Absolutely in love with this guitar. You know, this I I just love rosewood back and sides. Look at that wood grain. Ah, oh, give it up. Give it up for Gibson. Is that weird that it's like a hot take that I kind of like prefer their acoustic guitars even if they're like electric guitars? That's an unpopular opinion. Come at me in the comments. But uh, gotta determine the guitar's soul first going to be one of the originals. Some people have heard me play this one before, but uh, I'm actually going to be recording this one. Gonna be recording that song uh, definitely this month. So if you guys have any video ideas or anything you want to learn about the recording process, let me know in the comments for sure. Uh, I'm gonna plug this in in a second too. Mic it up properly just so you can hear uh, a more a more focused sound example of it, other than just uh, the audio that I have from the mic set up in here. But man, I just like it just it just the sound just sits right here which is why i really wanted to try this guitar out because i think in like the in the the sonic role it's going to play in doing like an actual score with like some finger picking and again the tuning will settle in a second but like uh, man super stoked so i'm going to give this uh a minute just to settle retune it and then i'm going to Kind of check out the electronics that kind of come in here. I know it is one of the uh, the Fishman uh, pickup that is in here. And also just mic it up properly so we can get a better idea of how it sounds in a professional studio environment from an actual composer. All right, so I'm going to track the chord progression for a new song I'm working on. I'm probably going to complete this song from beginning to end. So if you have any questions about the recording process, let me know in the comments of this video because I'm going to be shooting the next ones pretty quickly thereafter. I just have the Earthworks SR25 pointed to the 12th fret. I'm looking to get a second one of these to do stereo uh, coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. And I'm just going to do basically uh, the microphone, and then I also have the, uh, the the direct output for the Fishman, so I want to see what that sounds like. This is my first time hearing either of these, so uh, I'll go back and forth between them and then end up blending them. And you guys can just kind of determine what you think it sounds like from there. All right, let's check it out.
thank you so much for checking the video out. Uh, if you have any questions, please click the link below. Uh, that'll take you to the Sweetwater affiliate link for this. Thanks again to Gibson Acoustics and Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. And uh, like I said, anything you get, please get it from Sweetwater on my behalf because they have helped the channel out so much. I cannot imagine life without them. So thank you again. And like I said, any questions about the recording process, hit me up because those videos will be starting to come out soon. And I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.